What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Um, I'm just um, doing a bunch of fantasy matchups today. Um, just laying back on recline. I'm actually doing them all back to back. So, anyway, guys, um, this one is going to be Sonny Liston versus Rocky Marciano. Um, fantasy matchup at heavyweight. Primarily, a lot of my fantasy matchups are at heavyweight because there's a lot of fights to make. Legendary heavyweight fighters such as Liston and Marciano. So, anyway, good overall matchup. Um, matchup I, I really never thought about, um, to be honest. A matchup I never really thought about. Um, something that's going to stick out like a sore thumb with this matchup is the size involved. Look at, you know, um, I believe Liston was, was significantly bigger than Rocky Marciano. Um, Marciano was about 185. Liston was about, I'll say 200, but... I think he was about 6'2", 6'1", 6'2", but he had an enormously long reach. Um, something that that will stand out is the fact that if if Liston was, you know, this amazing boxer and was very smart and had, you know, the Floyd Mayweather type thinking ability or the, you know, the Ali type thinking ability, then, you know, he would just keep Rocky Marciano at the end of his jab. But it wasn't always the case with Liston. Liston did have a good jab. But he didn't keep fires at the end of it. Um, but and also Marcian, Marcian was the type of fighter that just came forward, came forward and he pressured. Um, had really good stamina. I think his stamina was much better than Sonny Liston. Um, I think that stamina for Rocky Marcian got him very far. Um, the fact that he was always there for for the full 15 rounds, and just came forward and. He was all about punishing it. Both fighters, they really they were about punishing their opponents. But Marciano, you know, if you look at him, man, he had, you know, he he went, he came forward, got his soul shots to the body. You know, little, it was just little soul shots to the body. Um, sometimes soul shots to the body, soul shots up top. Um, doing stuff accumulatively. Accumulatively. Um, really did it for Marciano. You know, um, the fact that he couldn't keep a Marciano at the end of the jab was very discouraging. The fact that sometimes you, could, you couldn't even hurt the man. So, when I think of this matchup, and I, I went straight into the match because I have analyzed both Marciano and Liston um, on a few occasions. Um, but when I think of this matchup, I think of, I think of Marciano's stamina versus Liston's power. And the fact that Rocky Marciano had a lot of heart and was a tough fighter. And Liston was tough, but he got discouraged. And I think that Marciano could could have um, discouraged Sonny Liston. Um, because the fact that I, don't, I think Liston's punches, they may hurt Marciano. They may bust up Rocky Marciano. may cut him up a lot. But Marciano is still going to be there. Marciano's going to still be in his face, and he's still going to be throwing. He's going to be, you know, fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liston. Whether it be from the, in the mid-rounds or to the late rounds, Marciano's going to be there to fight. Liston's going to be there to give out punishment. But, after, but I think Liston would throw, you know, his best shots, and they might not even affect Rocky all that much. So, me, I'm going to go with Rocky Marciano in this matchup. I think Rocky Marciano would knock out Sonny Liston late. Um, like I said, I don't think that Liston. I don't think Liston will be able to keep Rocky at the end of his punches for a full twelve. I don't think he would. And I think that if he even caught him with his hard shots, it would discourage him. Um, and you know he would probably start throwing more power shots and would make him more tired. So I'm gonna go with Rocky Marciano knockout round fourteen. So. Anyway, guys, send me more matchups if you want me to analyze. But anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.